of file to cut quilt squares or quilt patterns on your maker is very easy and we'll step through that process in this video. The first thing I'm going to do just to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing is I'm going to hide my grid. Let's go over the process so that you'll understand what I'm doing as I'm going through the steps. You can see on my screen that I have two methodologies for creating quilt blocks. The one on the left cuts a single line in between the quilt blocks. The one on the right is made up of rectangles. Now there's a lot of benefit over doing it with the method on the left. One, it's going to cut a lot faster because you're cutting one line instead of two lines in between the blocks, as well as it's going to be quicker to remove from the mat because you won't have all of that extra material that you're going to need to remove. And it's going to mean less fabric left on your mat, like the little fabric bits, so it'll mean you won't have to clean your mat as often. And in some cases, you'll actually fit more blocks on the mat. So this is the methodology which we're going to use in this video. Okay, let's get rid of this and we'll start. Okay, the first thing we need to do is figure out the spacing for our lines for our grid. In this case, I'm going to make quilt blocks that are three and a half inches by six and a half inches. And I'm going to create the file for a 12 by 24 mat. Now on the 12 by 24 mat, we actually have 11 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches that are usable, cuttable area. Okay, so we need to stay within that. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is figure out where our quilt block lines should be going horizontally across. So of course the first one is going to be zero. So we'll write zero down. And we're going to use three and a half. So I'm gonna do three and a half on the calculator and then I'm gonna tell it to remember it. So I'm gonna click the MS button. Now let's add, I'm gonna do MR because that's gonna bring back up my three and a half and equals. Okay, so we're going to have zero, three and a half, and then seven. So those are the first three lines. And now plus, remember, equals 10 and a half. So we're going to do vertical lines at zero, three and a half, seven, and 10 and a half. Okay, let's clear that out. And now let's figure out the horizontal lines that we're going to be needing to cut our quilt blocks. So the first one's going to be zero. The second line is going to be six and a half. I'm gonna tell it to remember that. I'm going to do plus, remember, equals, 13. Okay, so that's, we want to write down 13. And now we want to plus, remember, the six and a half, and equals 19 and a half. So our horizontal lines are going to be zero, six and a half, 13, and 19 and a half. Okay, so now we have that written down. It's time to start creating our lines to cut our quilt blocks. So what we're going to do is go to the Shapes tool and select Score Line. Change the line type from Score to Cut. Since this is already vertical, let's do the vertical lines. To do the vertical lines, we need this line to be as long as our longest measurement on the vertical side, which is 19 and a half. So go ahead and change the height. Actually, let's unlock this. Change the height to 19 and a half. And then you can hit the Enter key or the Return key if you're on a Mac to finalize that, that value. So we have a 19 and a half inches long line. Now we need this line to be 
at x and y zero. So let's talk about positioning for a minute. x is how far horizontally it's positioned, and y is the positioning vertically. So x is how far over, and y is how far down. So we want this to be at zero, zero. So zero, zero, enter. Now you can see that that line is at zero, zero, and it's going all the way down to 19 and a half. Okay, while that line is still selected, hit the duplicate button. Okay, our next vertical line is going to be at three and a half inches over. So in our X position, we just want to enter three and a half. And you can hit the tab key to get over to Y if you want. It's, it's easier. And once again, we want this line to be at the very top. So we're going to enter zero in the Y field. Okay, with that line still selected, hit the duplicate button again. And now go to the position field. And our third line over is going to be at seven inches. So type in a seven, hit the tab key, enter zero in the Y, because we also want that at the top, and then the enter key. Beautiful. Okay, we need one more line. So go ahead and click duplicate again, and go back to positioning. And our last line is going to be at 10 and a half. And of course, we want it at the top, so it's going to be zero in the Y field. Perfect. Okay, we have all of our vertical lines in. Go ahead and duplicate the selected line again. Okay, we want to rotate this 90 degrees. And you can either click and drag and hold down the shift key to make it snap. Or you can simply go up to the rotate field and enter 90. We need to change the length of this line. Now the horizontal line, we want it to be as long as our longest position horizontally. And that will be 10 and a half inches. So go up to the width field and enter 10 and a half. And press the enter key. Okay, we want this line to be positioned at zero, zero, so at the very top and all the way to the left. So go ahead and enter the X position as zero, hit the tab key to get over to the Y field, and enter zero again, and press the enter key. Okay, you can see that line is way at the top. Okay, hit the duplicate button again, and our next line is going to be positioned at six and a half because we're doing three and a half by six and a half inch quilt blocks. So the X position will be zero because we want it all the way to the left. And the Y position is going to be at six and a half. And then press the enter key. Okay, let's duplicate this line again by hitting the duplicate button. This line we want to position at 13 inches down, all the way to the left. So we're going to enter zero in the X position and 13 in the Y position. Okay, duplicate it one more time. And once again, zero in the X. And the final line is going to be positioned at 19 and a half inches down. So we're going to set the Y value to 19 and a half and press the enter key. Okay, we have all of our lines now for our quilt blocks. The next thing that we need to do to make sure that they all stay together is to select all of the lines. So go up here and click select all, and we want to attach them. So click the attach button. Okay, you are now ready to cut this on your maker.